loosen up on it, mighty God. I pray that everything will go according to your will, mighty God. Hallelujah. God, I pray even now that you overshadow each and every one that is present here. No, my God. Bless them with family at this time. God, we want to place everything in your precious hands. Mighty God, we look to you by faith right now, Lord. I will just give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Thessalonians 4, verse 13 to 18. But I would not have you be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that he sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, then also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you, by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of our angels, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Eighteen and last, wherefore comfort one another with these words. Here ended the reading of God's word. Testament was born in St. Catherine on the 7th of November 1941 on the lip up to the late Mr. and Mrs. Arnold Simic. The family then migrated to Manchester in 1951. Cecil attended Franklin Primary School in Manchester. He was baptized in the Lancaster Apostolic Church with the first set of candidates when the church began in 1962. Cecil then moved to Falker Bay and became a fisherman after he moved to Negril, where he had a stroke and deteriorates his health. He then returned back to Manchester and later received another stroke which cost his life. Cecil will be missed sadly by his children, grandchildren, sisters, brothers, nieces, nephews, and all our relatives and friends.
thanks for this moment and we are here to put away our friend our brother our uncle our father grandfather uh, who is it to you we are here to put away says his time have expired now praise God but, yeah, man, he, yeah the expired date reach him yeah, and he's gone home yeah. all right the second lesson will be um, taken from Revelation 21 4 to 8 and that will be read by Thanks one more time. Praise God, if you want to open it up, that is anybody here or Louis feel here, or just say something in short, a minute, or if you stretch you know, more and full minute. Praise God, this time we have um, Pastor Samuel, Pastor Smiling from the city. Yeah. Come in, come to you, come to you. Pastor Smiling, come to you, come to you. Pastor, Pastor Smiling from the Seventh day Adventist Church in Lancaster. Uh, you want to say something? Huh? Please be shy, please. Somebody going to say something go ahead. before oh, me? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Black brother, and me, we are together like this. Him, and the father, I don't know what, but the father sent him away about three times to three different places. I was attending from his father, but I don't know what, but about three times he, 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 he gave away to somebody and I couldn't stay at the room, I have to be there because 
such a beloved brother to me that I'd have, I, I, I just took him as a baby. The very first, I have him for 11 years taking care of him. And his daughter come and say, Uncle, you know I got to release you with daddy because you have him for 11 years and and we should have to take care of him. So I'm going to release him. His daughter come and took him. And no time the daughter passed away. And when I go and check for my brother, and when I see him, it was me and my sister here, go and see him. I want to drop out of my eye. And when my sister says to me, say, would you take care of him again? I said, sure, why not? That's a part of me. And I take my brother. And I take care of him. And I don't want to cut it short, but may have to talk. He is a Christian. He died as a Christian. This man, if I give him a cup of water, he never tell me thanks. Everything, he turn his eyes towards heaven and give God thanks and praise. And through that, God provide for him. Quite so tell the last nickels and drop of bread leave his body. And I said, thank God for him. And may his soul rest in peace in Jesus' name. Thank you. Praise God. Praise God. Do you have any time? We don't have anybody else, but if you have one minute. All right. Somebody else. All right. This time we're going to hear from Pastor Raymond with a message on at this time, please turn your cup up and listen to what God has heard to say to us. Sister Raymond, 
Pastor Raymond, God bless you. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise God. So we praise the name of the Lord. You know what? I want to hear a shout of hallelujah because you know what? I know my brother God who is the Lord. Amen. Can we all praise the Lord, give him the highest praise? Can we give him the highest praise? Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. This is a homegoing service. There are many times I've been to funerals. Many times. And we would say, oh, he's going to be with the Lord. Mm -hmm. We lie. Yeah. Because what? For the benefit of the family member, we're trying to make them feel comfortable. And we lie and say they're gone to heaven. Amen. But today I can stand in front of you and say, my brother is safely in the arms of Jesus right now. It's only the remnant of him that left here now to put down in the grave. I believe that he leave a legacy behind. And I just want to give God the glory. But today I have to ask one question, what about us? What about us, every one of us, is our way right with the Lord? Amen. In Luke 12, Jesus spoke a parable about the man, the, the, it's a farmer, and he plant his vineyard, and he reap excess. And when he look at his position, he said, this little barn, not going to hold what I have. I'm going to break this down. And I'm going to build a bigger one. And I'm going to store up all my possession in this barn. And then I'm going to say to myself, soul, relax, have fun, enjoy. But guess what? In verse 20, the Lord said, the fool tonight your soul is required of thee glory to god is god telling any of us right now when our soul is required do any of us know when our soul is required what if it's no what if it last night we were talking about my cousin josephine and only to hear after we talk about her that she's sick, we only hear the news that she passed off. People, souls are dying. As somebody said earlier, it's not just one one anymore. You know, it's so many. It's not just the COVID. It's not just the COVID that is taking people life. People are going by heart attack. People are going by stroke. People are being gone down. People are having accidents, but people are going. And I mean, there's funeral all over the place. Yeah. Funeral in Louisville, funeral, fun, funeral in Lancaster, funeral in Java, funeral in uh, Hermit, yeah. every district. Funeral is going on. It's the most popular event. I hear my brother talk about the expiration date. Do we know when our date will be expired? No. This is the appointed time, and I know that we don't have long here, so I'm cutting it short and get to the point and hope that we will really recognize ourselves and get ourselves right. I'm saying we, all of us, because it only take one little inkling for you to lose your way. Because I don't want to stand in front of you as if I'm all that. Because it only takes one slip for us to mess up. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. But we have to make sure our election is right with yeah. Almighty God. Yeah. Yeah. And before I cut right now, I have to ask the question, is it right with us all? Is it okay? Is all of us okay? Is our soul okay? If we should die tonight, are we okay? Are we okay? I know my brother is okay, but are we okay? Our soul is important, and it's time for us to get right with God. This is the appointed time. Glory to God, because tomorrow may be too late. So I'm going to ask one question. Is there anyone around us you know within your heart of heart that you're not living for the Lord? And this is the moment. Don't worry, it won't stop. 
yes, the burial from going on. Because there's numbers of people here who can pray with you. Just lift your hand if you know it's time. Step out here, my sister. Go in the middle right here. Come right here. Glory to God. There's a church out there in Lancaster. Glory to God. Is there one more? Is there anybody else? Is your soul right with God? There, let me tell you something. I don't care which church you belong to so long as you're living for Almighty God. Glory to God. She said, I'm going to ask you to pray with her. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, just pray with her. Hallelujah. Is there anyone else? Is there anyone else? This is our final destination. It's here for us. And if our way is not right, we're not going to make it into the kingdom of heaven. This is where we're going to go. And our body will go here and our soul go down deeper. Amen. So this is the time to make your election safe and sure and secure. Is there another soul? Is there one more? You know you're not living. You know you're not doing right. Is there one more? God bless you. That's my few words to you in Jesus' name. You have heard the word yes. Hallelujah. from the servant of God. No one knows how early it's going to be too late. But we know about now. It can be too late tomorrow, today or right now. But you do not know how early it's going to be too late to cry out to God. One of the Bible says, now is the time of salvation, now is the acceptable time. Because we don't know about tomorrow. We know about now. We don't know God is serving. So make your calling be sure, electionally. Praise God. God bless that young lady who hallelujah decided Glory to, to God. Hallelujah to take prayer. And Praise and God. Is there. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. God bless Praise them. God. Hallelujah. Thank Praise you. Praise God. You can just say a short hallelujah. prayer to them. Hallelujah for them. God bless you. God bless Jesus. you. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. God bless you. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Keep them safe in your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, God, I might be safe in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask. And he's going to my church. Okay. Let's get our prayer. All right. We're going to ask um, family members. We are going to pray for you. We are going to ask Brother B. Jackson to pray for the family member. Brother B. Jackson, okay? For our family members, could you make yourself be known? Hallelujah. We are going to pray for you. Just lift your hand. Just lift your hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just look at them. They are all around. Children, okay. grandchildren, great grandchildren. They are all there. Get all those. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, good day, everyone. Could you just come a little closer, please? Family, can, family members, immediate family members, can you just come a little closer, please? I'd love for you to, I'd love for you to come a little closer, please. Yes, just be obedient and come a little closer. Yes. Um, I just want to give God thanks. You know, I'll do it's a funeral service, but um, it's turning out okay when persons persons are, you know, giving their lives to the Lord. It is a good thing. And so I am happy for that. I'm going to pray at this time. Please could you just um reverence before the Lord? Bow your heads. And let us just go to the Lord in prayer. Our Father and our God, we lift up your name. We give you praise. We honor you. We magnify your name. We thank you, God, that you are God. You are the God who cares for each and every one of us. Lord, you tell us in your word, that we should not worry about tomorrow, about what we will eat, about what we'll wear. We shouldn't worry ourselves because you will take great care of us and great pain in taking care of us, Lord. 
You said that you care for the sparrows and that not one of them falls to the ground without you taking note. We thank you, Lord, that each and every one of us that stand here and family members that are standing here, Lord God Almighty, you know every person by name. Yeah. The very hair on their heads are numbered by you, Lord God Almighty. That is how much you care about us, Lord. And so today, Father, despite the fact that we are grieving at this time as family members, Lord, we want to thank you for the life of our brother, our uncle, our cousin that has gone ahead and the life that he has lived and yes. we want to give you thanks that Lord he has you know committed his life to you and that today Lord he's seated beside you there in heaven Lord God Almighty we give you thanks for that Lord God but we want to commit the members of the family here Lord God Almighty those close to him who are grieving wow. especially Lord God Almighty brothers and and, and cousins and nieces and yeah. nephews oh god almighty who are not saved who have not come into relationship with you great god i want to pray for them no lord and ask god that you would draw them to you because your word tells us that none come to you except he be drawn by your spirit so i am praying oh god almighty that you would draw them to you that you would speak to them that you would whisper in their ear lord whether to a dream or god almighty whatever means oh god you would use lord to bring them close to you even the death of their brother i pray god that you would just minister to them now minister peace yes, lord. comfort their hearts <laughs> tell them to recognize that they're oh god they can lean upon your very strong shoulder oh god and find solace tell them not to, to, to look to other source for comfort the roman the the, 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 the spirits that are around otherwise God apart from you help them not to look to find comfort otherwise but to look to you great God Almighty God I commit my family before you God Almighty so much of my family members are dying and, and, and a lot of them are dying in sin but God I pray that this these that are here today God Almighty oh God as you draw them even now Lord as they listen to my voice Oh God Almighty, encouraging them, oh God, emphasizing to them, Lord Jesus, importance of committing their lives to you. I pray God that it will impact upon them, Lord Jesus. I pray you will provide. Provide for, 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 for Cecil's daughter, children and Relative. grandchildren and you know the relatives the closer relatives just just comfort them god Amen. and provide for them jesus open doors lord god almighty yes. make the way even in this time of covid i pray god that you would protect you would shield them god almighty as they seek to do the right thing and and to abide by the protocols i pray god almighty that oh god you will protect them also father thank you for today thank you god for what you are going to do in their lives Thank you for the experiences that they're going to have when they commit themselves to you, Lord God Almighty. I pray for unity among them, Lord God. I pray that they will, they will have unity among them as family, Lord God Almighty. I pray in the name of Jesus that if there is any disunity, Lord God Almighty, by your spirit, oh God, it will be broken. By your spirit, Lord God Almighty, they will come together, oh God Almighty, and unite and be loving and caring for one another in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I commit Catherine before you even now, Pastor Raymond, oh God Almighty, I pray for her strength, Lord God Almighty. I pray that, oh God Almighty, as she continues to minister, that Lord, you will use her even more effectively in the vineyard field, Lord God Almighty. Continue to bless her and to, to use her, Lord God Almighty, and just to bless her ministry. Amen. Thanks, Lord, for everything to be. Yes. I give you the praise. I give you the glory. I give you the honor. I say thanks Lord, thanks God for what you are about to do, for what you have done, Lord, and for what you are doing, and for what you are about to do, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you very much, family members. Praise God. My friends, we are as dead at once more invaded our ranks and removed from the walks of life, our beloved brother, says to Simit, his soul having departed to dwell in the undiscovered country from whose born no travelers return, it has become our sad duty to commit his body to the grave. Yes. Oh. Yes.
Ashes to ashes. No. Dos to dos. Praise God. And our inspiring privilege to commend his soul to all maker, Father and Redeemer, in the confident hope of the coming again of our Lord Jesus Christ, the resurrection Amen. of the body from Amen. the grave, and the joyous Amen. life reserved for the children of light in the realm of glory. Praise God. All right, you might see in your, in your book, you see benediction, benediction, we come at the end, not here. We are going to sing this song now. When the roll is called up, then the asking the singers to gear up, tune up your voice. We are going to sing. <coughs> when the roll is called up, then the. Again, and I'm going to ask before you start some help with the martyr to bring this stuff here, please. From your trend. Yeah, yeah. God bless you. You have borrow. You can push in the borrow and come fast. Some young song. And now the smile you and the dead in Christ arise, and the glory of his resurrection share. When his chosen ones shall gather to their home beyond the sky, and the road is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the road, when the road is called up yonder,